No, too stupid looking. Oh no, too violent. Aha! Perfect! You win the contest! Contest? Hey, welcome back, uh, YouTubers. Welcome back to Radical Toys. Today's episode, we're just taking a look at uh, Revelation Battle Cat here. He's looking pretty fly, and man, this is a massive box. This I know this has been out for quite some time now, but I recently got him on a really good sale. I actually got him on a 50% sale, so I got him half price. Now, the sale is still going on, but every time... Um, you buy something off Amazon, I find every couple of items that they sell, they put the price up. So um, I will put the link in the description so that you guys can get one, but you may not get it at 50%. I think at the time of this recording, he was on for 30% off. So that's still a pretty good deal. Um, so go check it out and hopefully you guys can get one. Maybe you might have a little guy or somebody that uh, might want one for Christmas. But moving on, let's just check this out. The package is pretty huge. Uh, it was so big, in fact, I wanted to measure it. So we've got 16 inches in length. And of course, we've got uh, just over 10 inches in height there. Wow, it's huge. So of course, it is deluxe. And yes, it looks pretty good. And, of course, on our back side here, you can kind of see all of our uh, characters going on here. You know, we got our Skele God and everybody else that's here in Wave 1. And, of course, we've got, uh, you know, our Battle Cat actually looks like Cringer. That's kind of why I did the animated intro, kind of based off of... Uh, we actually finally got one that actually looks like Cringer underneath the Battle Cat mask, uh, rather than the Ferocious Tiger. And so that's pretty cool. But yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's get this sucker out, and let's just go ahead and take a look. And welcome back. Wow, this is huge. This is by far a very, very impressive uh, Battle Cat and Cringer. Like, this is amazing. Um, dare I even say better than the classics? I don't know. It, it's going to be uh, an opinion is going to vary with you. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and put him on sideways. And we're going to measure him again now that he's out of the package. Because I just want to see what's going on with him. See his size. So, um, he would be 14 inches in length. Wow, that's crazy. Long. And... He's about six, about six inches. Um, if he's standing up straight, if you, you know, I bend out his paws a little bit straighter, he would, he would hit that uh, six inch mark for sure. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll take a rundown of um, just a actually let's just do a comparison first and just bring in a couple characters just so that you can kind of see what's going on and the size. So I'll start with the uh, battle armor, He Man. And, uh, of course, we'll bring in He-Man for Revelation. You can kind of see there. And, uh, for randomness, why not just bring in Sky Slip? I'll have to put her back here. But just kind of gives you an idea. Got Triclops hanging out on there. Of uh, what it looks like uh, in comparison size, it's it's very big. It's it's bigger than what you think. The like, camera doesn't really show justice of how big it actually is. Um. So of course, let's just we'll take a quick zoom in just so you can see the skull, just so you can see it a little closer here. It looks really good. You know, he's got such a nice face sculpt going on there. His jaw can move open, and you can see some nice teeth and stuff going on there. He looks really good. He looks, you know, really nice. All kinds of sculpt going on there. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, let's run down his articulation because I'm curious to see how he bends and stuff. So, on his tail, he's got, like, uh, I want to say it's a ball joint tail you can rotate it around and it is hinged so you can go up and down there um you got the back leg oh well this bottom half of his body can rotate as we just figured that out 
Um, you're going to be able to bend them hinge at the knees and you can rotate them around and you can bend at the ankle. So there's two ankle joints. There's like one up here and then there's one at the bottom. And you're going to be able to hinge them both. So you're getting lots of posability there and you're going to be able to rock that around. And while we're at it, look at that cool paw. That's a nice paw print there. You can see detailed. It's nice painted. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is some sort of... I think this is just packaging or tape or something on his foot. It, it's coming off. Whatever that is. And it's going to be, I believe, almost the same with the front paw. So you're going to be able to do the same. Hinge backwards and forwards. Now these are very, very stiff. But they will bend forwards and backwards. Um, you can kind of move these in and out a little bit. Not a whole lot, but, you know, enough. And, of course, this top torso part can rotate all the way around. And, of course, the neck is up and down. Well, down that much. And then up that much. And then, you know, you can rotate the head. The head's probably more than likely on a ball joint. I won't try to take it off to find out, but that's probably what it is. And, of course, you're going to be able to hinge the jaw, as we've seen earlier. I just love the... Just love the painted teeth and, you know, the painted eyes. It looks so good, guys. And here is our Battle Cat, or Cringer with all the gear on it. So, it's pretty cool. It's actually, this is quite, this is very, very flexible. Like, it's very gummy. Very, I don't know how I feel about it, but it's, you know, it's, it's at least very, at the very least, it's thick. So, it's not too bad. The helmet same idea it's fairly loose you can take it off pretty easily you can you know bend it out pretty easy it's a little more solid up here in this area but uh it's mostly pretty soft but unlike the origins uh battle cat which we'll check out here in a sec um it actually fits on quite well and it seems to stay it seems to stay a little bit better than the origins one i think so overall it's pretty cool and we'll go ahead and we'll stick He-Man on there because you guys are probably going to want to see it. So He-Man does go on there pretty good. I still think uh, um, scale-wise, I honestly think that... Um, let me just adjust my camera here. I think scale-wise, I, I believe that he's too big like i don't know it doesn't feel like um like maybe on camera it looks okay but in person it looks like he's so much bigger than he man like almost like completely out of proportion but it still looks cool though and here he is side by side with the origins battle cat so you can see quite the difference in color you can see that the uh Revelation has more of that cartoonish type of color, and I actually prefer this one. Some people might prefer the, you know, the more vibrant type of green color for Battle Cat, but I actually like this one a lot more. I prefer it. I've really, this is the color that I've been kind of waiting for for our Battle Cat, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so there's the size. So, you know, quite the scale difference. They are, you know, front. We get sides here. And, of course, the back. You can kind of see them there. And I don't know if you're going to be able to swap these out. Probably not, but we can try. <laughs> Doesn't really fit. And, of course, this is way too big. So, yeah, you're not really going to be able to do that. <laughs> but anyway, that is our Revelation Battle Cat slash Cringer. So, yeah. So, final thoughts. This is amazing. Um, I got a couple little bit of uh, paint missings, mishaps on, like, the stripes and stuff there, as you can kind of see. It's it's not major. Um, other than that, I don't have any problems with him. He's awesome. Once you work with his joints and stuff, you're going to be able to get, you're gonna be able to get some good poses with him. And, yeah, my biggest problem is where am I going to find a space on my shelf for him? I'm out of room. He's huge. But yeah, so that's our Battle Cat, folks. And yeah, so thanks a lot for tuning in to this video. And hopefully you guys go check out that sale. Hopefully it's still on. Hopefully you guys can get one for yourself or for somebody for Christmas. And uh, take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.